Welcome everyone to the Real Hoovians cast, episode 959. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212. I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. What's up, Philip? Hey there. What's up, Hayden? What's up, my men? What's up, Connor? Hello. What's up, James? Hey, guys. All right, so we didn't get Hayden's opinion of the episode. What did you think of Pilot Series 10 opener? Well, as you know, I thought the last two series were a steaming pile of horseshit. <laughs> Clara <laughs> was <laughs> Clara was the worst companion I've ever seen. I actually went far. I actually saw Series 9 on the Blu-ray in like a $5 pile, and I just discarded it like, no, nah, you know what? I don't even bother. Damn. So anyway, I was a bit uh, cautious going into this episode. I wasn't even going to watch it. Um, but I watched it, and I actually uh, quite liked it. I good. thought it was quite a good episode. Yeah. I uh, thought uh, Bill was a quite an interesting companion. Uh, actually, more of the street, urban type, modern hit character, opposed to Clara, who's perfect goody girl school teacher. Yeah, I love the universe and my flying canteen. I love flying my flying diner around the universe. <laughs> God, that was, that was stupid. But no, nah, I quite like the episode. Um, the villain was kind of okay. I kind of like that idea. Um, it reminds you of the ones a little bit like the creatures from uh, Water from Mars. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Because that's what I expected. I was, uh, was, I was waiting for the Mars. three knocks to start. It's the same <laughs> water from Water from Mars. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, all right. So, tell, tell us the highlights about it. Uh, I can't even remember it. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Oh no. Let's sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. Let, I lo- um. Wait. I'm thinking. What happened? Uh. <laughs> okay. That. No. Uh, come on. Come on. Give me. A, give me a chance. Yeah. Give me a chance. Oh, they came to Australia. That was nice. Okay. She, she, she needed a piss in the TARDIS. That was nice. Right. Um, Nardles, he was all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's all right. Hey, who's he? Was He's in another episode, wasn't he? He was in The Husbands of River Song, and he was in The Return of Doctor Mysterio. Looks like well, I want to know how the... I want to know how the doctor got a picture of um, Susan that the BBC took in 1963. <laughs> oh. Did he break the BBC archives and steal a photo of his granddaughter <laughs> from the, the head of the BBC? Oh, God. Is that why they put the BBC in the beginning of the day, like weird, like a little... Yeah, that was weird, manga. wasn't it? Yeah, right? That was weird. Um, what else was in there? The, those um, weird creatures that were fighting the Daleks, what were they? The Yeah, you don't remember them? They, what were they? The Daleks. Oh, the villains. What are the the villains? Oh, the villains. They were dogs. The villains. The, the, the villains. villains. They uh. They're from Destiny. They have the terrible Dalek. hair, but they're from Destiny. The Daleks and mentioned the resurrection. They look like well. Rick James. Yeah. But they were. <laughs> yeah. Are we not going to address like so? Like Bill's entered this world for the first time, right? This crazy world, and she sees a creature with a plunger. There's a plunger on the Dalek, right? I know, they, like, they obviously... kind of edited that, right? They didn't show all the stuff that she said in the... Yeah. In thing. yeah. Well, well the that was just, I thought that was just a promo shot that they shot for that um, yeah. video. So they must have just reused footage because it's Doctor Who, always on a budget. Mm-hmm. No, nah, it was fine, you know what I mean? Like, I'd probably watch another episode, I reckon. Okay. That's like, it was, it was actually... It was, it was all right, like... It was I a liked success! The... We got you to come back and... Go to the next one. I mean, Peter Capaldi, I think when he's not sulking around Clara and being, like, <laughs> creepy in love with her, and, like, she's not, she's not being, like, Doctor, bitch. I love, I love Danny Pink bits. I love Danny Pink bits. Like, when that's not going down. Danny Pink, Danny Pink, that was a terrible season. That was a terrible season, that one. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm turning red, so I'm not cracking up. All right. Series, I gotta, I gotta series see, 9. See color sections on here, yeah. Series 9 was just so bad. Like, it was so bad. What, what about Davros? Come on, man. Davros? Oh, that was a cool... No, nah, that was... A, remember, I was on here. I actually said I liked the uh, Magician's Apprentice. Yeah. Was that a Magician's for... Apprentice? Was that it? Yes. Yeah, to screw clone. Why was, it, wait, why, why was it called the Magician's Apprentice again? 
No idea. He just he brought it up again today in this episode. No, because you, you, you will remember I actually bypassed Series 9. Like, I saw the trailer for Episode 3 and went, this looks oh. off. And then I caught the finale, and I thought it was dumb how they just kind of, like, retconned the whole Gallifrey coming back thing and made it into some joke. It was all about Clara. But I actually was watching, I was flicking through the channels the other day on TV and Doctor Who was on and it was some episode where there was a fucking talking Viking in the sky. And I went, what the oh, hell yeah. is that this was... shit? Yeah. Yeah. And I literally just was in shock of what I was seeing. I was like, is Doctor, was I just a child when I liked this show and I thought it was okay? So then I went back and watched series one the other day, just casually at night. I just thought, let's go back and watch series one. I was like, you know what? The talking plastic was, you know, feasible. But the You're fucking talk, the talking Viking was just shit. <laughs> it hey, was just mate, shit. You haven't seen the swamp piece of really really cool. Crawl. It gets worse. But it had Maisie the, Williams in it from Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah but the, who cares? <laughs> you could have had Leonardo freaking DiCaprio in there with a bath suit on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! No, 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 no! I'm being positive. Come on, come on! I'm being hey, positive. Hey, man, come on! All right. I mean, I just watched that the other, the other day. It I was a, that, What would you rate it out ten? What would I rate it? Um, it was pretty good. Like I was pretty satisfied. I'd give it probably a five. Oh my god! That's no, that's average. good to me. You're talking to someone who would have rated the last two years at one point five out of ten. So five's pretty good. Like, I thought it was. I thought it was better. Than the um the Nargles Christmas special with <laughs> Superman with, with what the Superman one where the the guy was like oh, was, what was his name Dark yeah. Return of Doctor Mysterio yeah I was just yeah I was watching that today again yeah the Return of Doctor um Mysterio wasn't that Spider Man Mysterio <laughs> yeah basically but that was yeah. yeah that one was really bad I turned that off after five minutes too <laughs> that was really bad. That was so, really bad. So this is uh, I, again. I'm I'm gonna be as serious as Moffat wants me to be because here's the thing. This is supposed to be this episode that you gave a five. Yeah. This is supposed to get all new Doctor Who fans to love the show and be linked to it and watch it every week for years. This episode. Uh no, I'd probably watch like one more episode, I reckon. So this episode is not did not impact you as like let's say if you were a new fan and you saw that would you watch Doctor Who for years from this episode? Oh, uh, if I'd never seen the show before, I yeah. would probably not, I'd probably not watch it again. No. Okay, and that's just your opinion from Australia. We're gonna get people from America. <laughs> we got we got we got Daniel from Canada. Maybe it's you, from... maybe it's United thing that you're representing Australia here. So this is Jacob <laughs> oh, Mail's well, opinion. Jesus. Well, Jacob, Jacob's gonna Jesus pop it, I'm sure, but no, no, no he's last not. Names. We, we no, he's not. This is Jacob. No opinion. last names mentioned in the cast. Daniel, yeah, you are from Canada. Yep. So no, now no. you saw this episode, correct? Uh, not yet. Oh, well, we just, we just, ooh, just yeah, sit there. No. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. I'll, I'll listen. Ah, Let me spare them. Please try this unicorn poop. Oh, God. No. Unicorn poop, our sponsor. <laughs> A little bit of poop in every bite. The best shit I've ever tasted. All right. <laughs> On that note, like Daniel, and that's I just, and he's, and he's talking about the candy, oh, not the not pilot. I don't want to spoil it for you. No, it's okay. It's all right. There's a candy called unicorn poop. Is that yeah. real? It's, it's, Wait, so you haven't seen it? It's jelly beans. Oh. So, but Daniel, that's, that's you've what, not seen that's it. Unicorn poop is supposed to look like it. So, but we can't progress if we can't progress if Daniel hasn't seen it. We can't. Well, it. well, the Candyman isn't in it to disappoint you, Daniel, <laughs> which is obviously terrible news. Daniel, I don't want to ruin uh, your Doctor Who experience. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I, I, I look at a lot of things. I spoil a lot of things for myself. It doesn't really matter. That's how he gets the rounds at night, guys. Remember, remember Into Darkness? I spoiled it for everybody, including yeah, I myself. Yeah, I wanted to come to Canada, Canada and beat the living shit out of you. <laughs> After you ruined Into Darkness for me. I was about to go see the movie. Like, you! I was like, okay. But well, anyway. What did he ruin? It was a crap movie. No, that Khan. It was Khan in it. Yeah. The whole point. Oh, yeah, I'm... I'm... They never cover enough. 
Where were the Spoonheads this week? Oh, God, no. Well, okay. Now, they were searching for the girl, uh, the water girl in this one. So. Now, now, okay, Hayden, next episode is we're going to see emoji robots. And oh, it speaks to, oh, it speaks emoji. Get in there. <laughs> Get in. Get in. That's Get way in. too bad. That's way too pandery to the uh, millennials. We're gonna get in, right? Emoji. And gonna fatten them. Um, get in comes from thin ice, not from emoji. Hey, that's I saw the um I saw a John Sim in the trailer. Yes, yeah. he yeah. Yes. Why do the masters all look like robots like Nardles? Uh, you know what I mean? Missy I looked like a robot and you heard like a robotic sound when she turned her head. It was kind the of like a. The question is, which master will be the domineering one? Because when we have multi doctor stories, we always have a domineering doctor. Uh, Missy. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I no, think I maybe don't get your hopes up because Stephen Moffat always lets us down. So, like, don't get yeah, too he had excited. There's a lot of theories about, um, you know, possibly that John Sim is somehow after Missy. But the thing that breaks that theory is that Missy doesn't seem to have an issue with the sound. I mean, obviously, Roger Delgado and Anthony Lee. We didn't know that story. You know with the drums? Yeah. Doesn't seem yeah. to mention the drums at all. Or maybe she just I think this might care. be this might be um this might be a Chris Chibnall thing saying I want um John Sim back as the master, so can you slowly usher him back in? Like get us used to him again as the master? No, no. I thought he hated the show when he left. Didn't he find fans annoying think, or something? I think that was bollocks, to be honest, spun by the media. Yeah, because the articles I found, they're all from newspapers which are even yeah, they're not reputable. <laughs> well, it could be. Like when, it could be. Like when, hold on. When John, oh, wait, wait, you talk. You talk, yeah. Joe. It, it could Sex be real. Time. It could be real until they give him some money. Yeah. Not no, real no, no. The old, uh, the old finger up the bum hole. No. The, the, no. This, is, this is a guy. This is a guy that, that before Doctor had been in the acting community for what 20 years right he's a professional actor he's not going to give in to lame bribery like that just because bribery we're not bri- bribery. 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 bribery yeah he was in good shows Bribery like for example people. um i don't think yeah, bribery. Bribery. life um life on mars was excellent how much more could they give them if they can't even afford matt smith yeah, you know what? i think it, i think it both down to the fact that what they said to him is this time you can play the master how you want to play him and that's why he came back it's yeah. weird like um it feels like when John Sim comes back, if he sticks around, and then we're going to get this new, dashing, handsome, sexy doctor. Doctor Who's been in limbo for, since 2009. And it's like, all of a sudden, we're right back in. <laughs> like, what happened the last eight years? Well, you called the ginger doctor, you said. Yeah, ginger, I reckon. I reckon you he's said gonna that the 13th doctor is going to be a man, and he's going to be ginger. Yeah, I've, I've called it. I reckon maybe, maybe he's going to be a sexy did. ginger. I'm still Mid-30, no hope for ginger. Danny Dyer. We don't know. The first doctor to have a full time beard. Ooh. So have that bloody beard from that. Well, the master has a beard now, right? Yes, he does. Does he? He yeah, does. He does. Very cool. Does, yeah. oh, yes, that's the master. I want to yeah, see. that's why I'm thinking what you're thinking, Philip, that they're letting them have more free reign. Yeah. I read he had so a bit of a free reign, you know, with Sound of Drums, but he was definitely full on. This one. That's this a great one. episode. From that, little, my favorite. from that little small clip that we saw of him, I, I don't think he's got the drums in him. I think this is um, somewhere after that. The drums are now gone. Now, yeah. is, is that thing in the basement like the Pandorica, but with the master in it? Is it keeping somebody in that thing? I mean, no. did, the, did the doctor build that? No. Yeah. He's no. probably going to explain uh, what happened after the, uh, you know, with John Sim when he I went into it because. Explain it. Well, yeah, they will explain the. Uh, they'll definitely explain that. Uh, but the the John Sim, obviously, we have no idea what happened when he went into the time. Well, we just presume death, obviously, at the time. This will be no. Maybe, maybe Bill Bill will walk up a cliff, right? And on the edge of the cliff, there'll be a guy with a hood, and he'll slowly turn around and pull oh, the hood God. off. It'll be David Tennant with a beard. Yep, uh, yep. Star oh, Wars. He's gonna hand him a lightsaber. Gonna hand him the sonic. So gonna hand him the sonic screwdriver, and he's gonna stand there, David Tennant, silent. And we're gonna have seven years of waiting. What the fuck? How did this happen? I gotta tell you, they had this weird trailer on BBC America, which it was like I thought it was a new Doctor Who trailer, and ru- a second later they showed David Tennant from Broadchurch, and I'm like, what the? What the- <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, it's so good it though. You should no, really watch like, that. I mean, like, why are you mixing it? Like, are you is that is that going to be on BBC America now? Or Can we have like the Thirteenth Doctor be David Tennant with long hair and a beard and a different outfit, and that way we just say it's a Thirteenth Doctor who's kind of looked similar to the Tenth? It took me a long time to warm to David Tennant because I hated Rose, and then. Even when he was on Doctor Who, I was like, hey, he's an okay Doctor, but after Doctor Who, when he did shows like, uh, what was the show called? Father's Day or uh, Single Father? Do you remember that, anyone? Philip, oh, maybe. Father uh, Ted. Played, not Father I think Ted. where his wife dies, yeah? Single he has father, to look after right? his kids. Brilliant show, by the way. Watch it. And then he did Broadchurch, obviously, and he's done a Jessica Jones. And now after he's Doctor Who, he's become a lot better, <laughs> I think. Has anyone here he's... seen Fargo? That's a great show, by the way, Fargo. You, you really watch Fargo. You should. I, I am movie was finishing odd. Bates Motel at the moment from that. Oh, has that? Uh, not great. Isn't it? <laughs> not Is anymore. it better Nardles? What's he called? Nardles. Nardle. Yeah, no, no. And what is he? Is he like the Santa Christmas people from The Runaway Bride? Is that what No, he's but he's to the first yeah, male yeah, companion we've uh, had. Well, uh, male. We, uh, I, I don't know if he's, he's an alien. He could have like... Which can I actually, um, I don't I actually watch... I watched The Runaway Bride again the other day <laughs> with Donna. <laughs> Get me to the church! Get me to the... And they're like, the TARDIS like saves her from the taxi or whatever and the little kids in the back seat are going, yes! Yes! <laughs> right, should we, uh, seeing this is a real Hoobins cast, talk about the episode? Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's, let's try to shift it to, let's try to shift it to the, um, pilot. trailer. Oh, yes, so to speak. pilot. The because pilot. Was, well, the trailer showed that Capaldi was regenerating with two people yes, behind him. <clears throat> That's definitely him as well. Now it's we know it's... Direction. No, Doesn't he regenerate in, like, must episode be in this direction? Yeah. It's only two things it can be. It's complete misdirection, which I think it is. Or they really are that stupid, and they just... They are being... If they are advertising the regeneration, that actually is regeneration. It's quite disrespectful to the guy, because it's his last no, season. Let him actually, enjoy it. How could it be a mis- <laughs> misdirection when it's actually, it's actually in full flow of regeneration? He's in full um, full because uh, David Tennant... Also, well, because, do, we, um, do we copy yeah. now everything yeah, that everybody else? Right? Right? There's that mark the that that shifted the generation into a hand. He's what is the generation the energy? Like, they should have a recycling I'm, program it, it, on it, 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 it's, not, it's not like he can't stop it. He can technically stop that regeneration. No. Yeah, well, personally, I think we should, we should never really... Like his own mm-hmm. life. But, that's right. Know. That's right. Remember Johnson? He could have regenerated in silent drums. He chose to die. Capone. Guys, they could right grow now, up. I'm should, choosing to die. We should be speculating about Series 12 right now. The big 2019 season. We should be talking about Chris Chibnall's successor and the 14th Doctor. That's what we should be focusing on. What? Anyway, but... No, I'm just saying that because I was uh, I was paying out Joe for getting upset the other day that we weren't focusing on Capaldi's last season. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the big six-minute video. That was six minutes of my life, dude, that I'll never get back. I know that feeling. Okay. <laughs> I think, what was the thing, you know, with the guy screaming? Where he's screaming, so he was, you know, wrapping itself around the guy just after the Monday's inside of, you know, the clip in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's that? I don't, don't know. know. No, I don't know. Oh, oh, the, Is the, it maybe uh, an ice warrior out of the suit? No. Can someone tell me, though, can someone tell me what episodes, because I don't know much, I've just read the descriptions, because you guys must talk about this a lot. What episode is the John Sim Master supposed to be in? One of the last two or three. Or eight, 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 8, 11, and 12. Okay. But so he's in multiple episodes. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Well, I thought it was only like... We don't know that for sure, sure, though. Like, oh, we know that for sure. Oh, oh. We I was... The way you guys made it sound the other day, it sounded like he was only going to be in a scene or he was only going to be like a cameo or something. I think, I thought a theory that, um, 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 what's his name, Johnson's um, decrepit, master, decrepit master, when he was um, dying, he, he, yeah. uh, he regenerated into himself. Like what Dave Tennant did. See what I'm saying? Well, I mean, he can only do that. He can only put the regenerator himself. He just put energy in the hand. He, yeah. he can only do that though if there's a part of him around, you know, right. a copy like David Tennant needed that hand. Remember? Or if your Is girlfriend brings, back? Used, or if your girlfriend brings all the regeneration. Oh, just imagine the doctor becomes John Barrowman. Oh. Like Is um, 
is John Barrowman back this season no. or not? They're no. never. I I think Moffat actually despises him. <laughs> I don't know why. It is. He's like, no, I'm not bringing I him back. I don't know. I mean, look, he's busy. I mean, maybe it's just he's busy. He no, no, no. That's show. definitely not it. Um, I know well, 100. I'm not, I'm the shows he's on, you definitely. know, Legends of Tomorrow, Legends of Tomorrow, show, uh, an Arrow. The uh, the showrunners from those shows love Doctor Who, and that. they said for the 50th anniversary, and they've said multiple times, if he ever gets asked to go back. They will let him go. Well, Mark, it's not I've known like Joe for about five years now. And that from day one, me and Joe have talked about how over we are of Moffat's ego, how we just can't take that shit anymore. <laughs> so, you know what? I think I can speak for all of us here when, thank God, we're getting a different era I, of Doctor Who than the next I was film. saying that, you know, a while ago. I was, um, I was yeah, really happy with Moffat because he's been here for too long. But... Uh, I'm sure Philip Carson, you know those interviews uh, recently he did uh, on YouTube, a few ones talk about the series. He seemed very modest, he didn't seem very egotistical. Well, you know, he just seems... Like you do, you know what? He's still slightly egotistical. Yeah. I, 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 tried to, I tried to miss them, really, because I didn't want to... He, he, I, I enjoyed wanna what freeze. he was talking about. I just seems, to be honest, what people got to remember is, and I've always harped on him, I think he stayed way too long. He broke the rule of Dot 2. The rule of Dot 2 is you renew. He don't stay too long. Tom Baker, as great as he was, even he'll admit he stayed a bit too long. Everyone, John oh, Nathan Turner, oh. stayed too long. You know those years, years, and then they left. Hold on. What happened? You know those comparison photos that people do of presidents before and after how, how much they age within the eight years? So I want you to do Moffat's eight years and how badly he's aged within that time. <laughs> so, has he really aged? He doesn't look like he's aged. Like he looks well, like... Technically, he's like the president of Doctor Who and he's been around for what? Eight years, technically. Two terms. He's been around for two terms. When did he start? 2009? He's the president of Doctor Who. He started with... The empty child that Doctor dances, but before no, but that, he he's start, a person of yeah. death. Did you did you, did you just call him the really. president of Doctor Who? Yeah. yeah he takes, oh yeah, so he just sits down. Oh, I don't know. He's a bit like Trump and just bombs scripts if he doesn't want to do something. Like, oh. Oh. No, 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 no. no. no politicals, please. Uh, yeah, looks like he's too busy eating the uh, cake. Oh, shit, say. Either, so. No, 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 we're not gonna get the Twitter. So we're not we're not going with the Trump as the next Doctor Theory then. Oh. Oh, okay. God, that, we're not <laughs> talking about that would be a great, be a great <laughs> political commentary to actually have Donald Trump as the president of the Doctor Who universe. You know, like when the world's ending and there's a big invasion and it's, what will President Trump do, Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> they just want the ball We have a beautiful it. country. We will not let the Daleks invade our beautiful country, our beautiful planet. We're going to have a beautiful piece of chocolate cake and not worry about the But a Dalek exterminates and we all cheer and rejoice. There we go. Oh, that's Poor Only a joke, guys. What would Moffat do? I think Moffat a huge dump when he's finished. and I think my point with Moffat is he stayed too long, but we got to remember he is a human. And, you know, sometimes people do go too far. I don't know about you, but... I, am I the only one who's sick of Christmas episodes? Can we just get rid of that shit? We, we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, we talked about the last cast. We, we said if it ended in a row. Like, yeah. Yeah. It feels like you could never have a cliffhanger on the end of each series because no matter what, you're going to have to do a Christmas episode. So right. It's, like, it's a bloody cliffhanger time, and then yeah. you're going to be like, oh, let's be nice for Christmas. It's like, no. Yeah. That, that's that's a problem. Be racist, we got, I'll be nice to data. That type of stuff. Every Christmas is last Christmas. What else was in the trailer? Um, oh, we got another scene with the Mondays and Simon. Looks even creepier. You know, the first uh, yeah. frame. Delete, delete, delete. If they say, I'll tell you what, if they say delete, I will be the first to smash that TV yeah, in front I, of me. Will, they I better will, not say I, delete. I, I will be too. I, I want this to be a Mondays and To me, that whole deletion thing came from the alternate universe one. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They will not say it. They will say you will become like us. That's what they should say. No, I, want um, the, I want the sidemen to have co- uh, constructive sentences and you know discussion about what they're doing rather than just yeah. doing. And also, um, I want them to explore like spare parts. You know, obviously some malfunctioning sidemen, and they do seem a bit more human. And I hope, I hope we get the police from spare parts, which are very interesting because they're human, but they're kind of half converted, aren't they, Philip? They're very like you mean halfway you have- there. What do you mean? I want to see, you know, I want to see different, you know what I mean, in the conversion yeah. process. It'll be cool. Um, 
I want to shift the focus to series 10. Are these first couple episodes lighthearted? Not nah, so one, one, two, emoji. Yeah, the, well, it's the, definitely not. It's got skulls and everything. Well, no, the emoji one isn't even lighthearted. Yeah, like the doctor seems really angry with them at one point. That you know, the trailer for it, he looks like I'm staying and I'm going to deal with this. So In every episode is going to be off world at least a minute or less. I mean, we already were off world a little bit. And... This episode. Yeah. So is that what Moffat's that the inside joke that hey I we were off world every episode, so I don't know what you're talking about. And meanwhile, I, was I, like, I just point out the elephant in the room, right? Here's the thing. How the hell didn't Bill address to the doctor the fact that he was taking photos of her mum? <laughs> everybody's that, saying that. Everyone's saying that. Um maybe. Cool for you, but yeah. That's a bit like, she, she was shocked when he said he could travel on time. Well, listen, Clara brought it up to his tent. She's like, what the fuck are you doing at my mom's funeral? It's like, oh, shit! I was a fucking wanker. It's like, oh, shit! Yes! Yes! That is right, Connor. That is fucking right. She was a fucking wanker. Does everyone... Come on. Everyone surely hates Clara. Philip, Scott, yeah, but, yeah, but Joe, you know, She's gone. Oh, I, 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 I hate it right the moment they made it set up to where... Oh, she, she was she the weakest, most boring character. Ever. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, we've had worse cool. companions. I mean, oh, she's terrible. Exactly. She's yeah. awful. We've I had, loved. Had... I love Adric. He was a great man. Oh, good hey, God! And I don't side with Philip. No, <laughs> Adric is terrible. He's the worst companion. Brave hearts. He gets brave hearts. No, he was okay, man. He had his. Yeah, Another crap companion, but she doesn't really. Katarina. They need to do a first, Star Wars post really with care. Adric on the bottom with the stars. That's the one. <laughs> Dodo. Is it Dodo? You should do that. No. Philip, yeah. is it Dodo? Dodo, the companion. You she is the T on one side and the Dodo. face on this on the other side. Yeah, horrendously bad. You think you the think Clara is bad? Go watch episodes of Dodo. The and last then. companion. No, I can't. I can't watch old Doctor Who like nineteen twenty-five episodes. How dare you? But anyway, carry on. Let's <laughs> start Doctor Who. <laughs> and this is coming from a man who says Series 9 was crap. You know, a man with questionable Ooh. taste. Emoji robot. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you guys... I thought, you, I thought everyone here hated Series 9. Um, no, yeah, I thought most of the episodes were pretty good. The, the, I, the Clara I, thing I, in the I last episode was bad. I like two of those. Two of those in Series 9 was... Um, the middle one. <laughs> the Most of it was what was the one with the um, seaweed? Seaweed? What's that? Wasn't there, a, there was an episode with seaweed, I remember, and he was underground, and there was like clones of the Doctor and Clara and seaweed. What was that? I got what you talking about. Oh, I must have been part of that. Oh, I don't know what you're trying to think of. Lake. What's the one? What's the one where Clara goes? Clara Oswald has never existed, and then it was like her head. Oh, that's the, the finale. That's yeah. the. That's the. Was that uh, the one where Danny Pink was a Cyberman and he died? Yes. yes that was yeah. Am I the only one who thinks that Kate Stewart is just so bland? Yeah. Yes. No. No. No, think... no. 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 I find her pointless, to be honest. She is boring. It's like female empowerment. She doesn't empower anyone because she's Does so bored. Does even compare to the Brigadier? Like, it's no I, comparison. I, I, listen, oh, I oh, we need to do something for the Brigadier. They we always say they want um, Idris Elba. They always claim they want Idris Elba as the Doctor. He should be a Brigadier, for God's sake. He'd be a much better Brigadier than, than a Doctor, I think. Someone well, like, like everybody's got to be female now. Like, a unit and <laughs> bad guys. And well, no, I do guys. think we're getting... I think we're getting John Sim back as the Master permanently. I think we're going to find out that Missy is going to be the Rani or a different entity altogether. Missy is not going to be the Rani. Missy don't is you give me that. The Mr. Don't, don't you give that. me that lip. Listen, don't give me that happen. lip, Joe. Joe, I'm looking at those. It would lips. work, though. It it's would, because the Thank Master you. and the Rani have Thank teamed up before, and it would be yeah. interesting John to Sin, see. John Sim will generate into uh, another Master, but, and it may not be Missy. Like it would be cool dark, though to see like, Missy what if, like, be the Rani yeah. and team up with the Master, like like you know the the, the episode they didn't what if they split in half? What, what if when John regenerated, right, right, he got split in half, and like half of him was Missy and half is the Master still? Yeah, they're both the same though. It's not they're not different. I mean, she's not. Yeah, he's just, I'm just coming up with ideas, people. Come on, Sammy Carter name drop. Oh no name drops. <laughs> 
shit. <laughs> Who's that guy? Never heard of him. Remember Eddie. Hey, uh, uh, Connor Farley's got facial hair. That's looking good. Uh, <laughs> I've got rid of him. He's gone. It's capiche. <laughs> yes, this show's only going to be two seconds long. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, are we going to do an everything show? Are we going to do an everything show? No, I kind of want. This is only what? Doctor Who oriented today. I'm, I'm, I want to talk about Star Wars: The Last Samurai. We've had the Last Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> the Last Samurai. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> no. Yeah, Doctor Who happened tonight. Yeah, Star Wars Cruise is not for another Samurai. seven months. We, we, we've done. Uh, 80 minutes worth of podcasting tonight already, almost. And we've talked about the episode for five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I want yeah. to talk oh, about the episode. So, <laughs> so Bill... Oh, we've got a time limit. Oh, my God. Yeah. What's the girl called? What was the girl's name? Bill Paxton? Um, Bill... <laughs> <laughs> Bill Paxton. Sorry, what? I don't know her name. Don't laugh. I actually don't know her name. What was it? Bill oh. Nye? Bill, Bill Potts. Potts. Oh. Potts. Okay, Pottsman. Bill Potty. Put it that way, Bill. And she don't go to university there, but she serves chips. She yeah. does. She doesn't be doing diamonds. I like that. You know, with the uh, the uh, the girl she was looking at who became fatter. I did laugh at that. That was hilarious. She was, and she was, she was still checking her out like, yeah, I got you fat. Yeah, BBW, you I'll do that any day. Yep. Exactly into that. Oh, no. It's the first companion of colour we've had since um, Martha. Martha. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, see? Like, and it's the first good companion we've had in a while. Like, why do they keep casting these boring brunette British white girls who just suck? Like, Clara. I think what's better is uh, the first we, if you could consider him a male, uh, Nardo is the very first male companion of the new we era. Who oh. isn't, who isn't a boyfriend of the female He's companion. a convertible. Come on. Yeah, but, you know, he's, he looks like a bloke. Unless yeah, Nargles, Nargles is a bloke. Nargles well, is definitely a bloke. You know what? With and Nardo, he's not a boyfriend. With Nardo, though, I do re- I do hope they speed up the uh, revelation of him <laughs> before too long. The what? The revelation of him too long. I, I want to speed it up. I don't want to drag it out towards the end. I want to kind of give us more about him that's uh, hidden. So you got Nargles, is like, Nargles is like canine, but a human version of canine. Oh, what you know, is he's apparently robotic, but he, he can really go to the toilet. From Cousins of River Song, or is he a robot constructed in his image? I think he's he, the, the second one. The second, that's what I said on the um, yeah. elsewhere. He's a constructed. Wait, is River Song back this year? I think only a Please, dish God, form. no. Well, I don't know. Did they go to the Singing Towers ever? Yes. They did it, it a Christmas they? special like we it predicted River years Song, ago. The Weeping Angels, Amy, Rory, Matt Smith, and someone else. Uh, let, let's think of uh, fucking uh, um, uh, Madam Cooper. <laughs> Madam, Madam, None Madam, of them Madam are going to appear. Marion, and the Red Balloons were in this episode. Joe would give it a 10 out of 10. No, I would not. Yeah, Joe, whatever happened to, the, Joe, whatever happened to the balloons and like, the post office and the fish? Nothing. <laughs> Did we ever find out who Matt is? They mentioned Jim the Fish and the Husbands of River Song. Did we ever find out who Madam Kabarian was? Nope. Nope. Uh, well, she was part of that breakaway group from the, um, the Church of the Papal Man, wasn't she? Yeah, they kind of explained it in Time of the Doctor. Yeah. Do we got like uh, puddle posters now from the episode or? Not yet. That's what I keep looking for. That's why my eyes are shut because I keep looking for that. Next that, week that'll... is wood lice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yay. You know what was a good scene? Uh, really creepy when she went on the phone and the shower was going. Yeah, that was, that was like she yeah. went, And she went in. Um, that, that was good. At first, I was like, wait, how can she get through the drain pipe? And then it explained later, you know, where she becomes the human and goes back into war. Really creepy monster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, with that scene, the eye and everything. Yeah. So that tear could have actually been that alien. So what, the alien possessed Bill? I'm oh, not saying that. Oh, star was, in the eye? The star in the eye. Is the alien... Wasn't that what the episode was called? The star in the eye? Yeah. Yeah. Which would have been better than the pilot. Yeah, and you, you know what I'm really happy about? Moffat's actually saying things that end up coming true. He said it was a reboot. It is a reboot. That, um, and he's saying that the Woodlice episode, Knock Knock, is creepy. We saw in the coming soon trailer that there was a student getting eaten by yeah. a whole swarm of 
would lie. So that's oh, is cool. that the one I was on about? The one yeah, where it's screaming? Well, yeah, yeah that, that's, that is pretty creepy, I would okay. say. So maybe oh. Moffat has finally learned how to write Doctor Who. Oh, to <coughs> make because he needs that last paycheck. He's like, yeah, yeah, maybe because he right. wasn't he wasn't really supposed to do the season in the first place, right? Well, he wasn't supposed yeah. to be out of work with Sherlock ending because they're all in the Marvel Universe either. Maybe he just doesn't give a crap and he's just having a go with it. Totally out of work. Like, it was going to be like, all right, I probably leave Sherlock. I'm going to do Sherlock. If I leave Doctor Who, I'm going to do Sherlock the rest of my life. And meanwhile, she's like, um, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised you hated this episode because as someone that has watched Doctor Who for ages, right. this is the closest Moffat has been to his RTD era self in eight years. Um, okay. Yeah, this is the closest the show has been to RTD's era for a while. A puddle. I think yeah. Capaldi is more excellent. RTD um, that does so basically the sound the drug and time leak somewhere. I, 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 I will explain. Actually, we only have a minute. So I know I it's really just explain. one episode, but I seriously think that Moffat has upped his game. I don't think so, because he called it a reboot, a pilot. This is the episode that's going to get people to start new fans to watch it's, Doctor Who. So if the ratings are in the toilet, that is a mistake. The I gave it a 5 out of 10. That's a good sign. We've only just seen one episode. Let's give him a bit more chance. I am giving him a chance. I am giving him. This is coming from Philip, by the way, who hated Deep Breath. (laughs) Remember? Yes, Philip. Deep Breath. Deep Breath was one of the worst things I've ever seen. Oh, for God's sake! What was with the artist getting thrown up by a dinosaur in the fucking old London? It was so. Uh. Bye-bye. Take care, bye for now.